Hi everybody and welcome to GTO Poker Charts, also known as Game Theory Optimal Poker Charts. And in this video I'm going to show you our 6 max cash GTO chart. It's self-explanatory, uh, but I'll take you through it anyway. Uh, you can see the chart in front of you at the moment. Um, if you subscribe, and it's only $9.95 a month at the moment. You will get access to this 6 max cash chart. And this is what you will see when you first come into it. Um, you notice over here I've got some info about, about it, instructions and strategy yet to be completed. That will be coming very, very soon. So firstly, one thing to note is obviously in a 6 max game you have a position. You are at the table, under the gun, middle, position, cutoff button, small blind, big blind. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's say, for example, you are in middle position um, or under the gun. We have a raise first in. This is a recommended opening range. Um, it's pretty much, um, I want to say tight, but tightish and then it's developed using a couple of pyo solvers uh, monka solver and pyo solver itself or a couple of solvers sorry um to come up with the ranges so under the gun raise first in middle position raise first in cut off raise first in um, and as you probably know the closer you get to uh, the button the more hands you can open up. Um, one thing to note is everything's color coded. So we have, uh, it's pretty, again, it's spelled self explanatory fold, open, or raise, call out of our range, don't even worry about it, and an all in. So if, if we take this as an example on the button, raise first in, uh, this is the recommended range for you. And one thing to note also is that. This one, a jack eight offsuit is not fully colored in, meaning that what it wants you to do here is 50% of the time open jack off, jack eight off, and 50% uh, of the time it's out of range, so don't open it at all. Now, how do we work out the 50%? We have a random number generator here on the side, so I use it. If it's under 50, I will open. If it's over 50, not. So we click there. This instance if we were playing or reviewing your hands um, you would uh, fold it and not open it so as suggested by the random number generator now that's all pretty straightforward opening ranges I think everyone's got them down pat uh, small blind big blind doesn't have an opening range of course so let's take a look at some other features besides just the opening ranges Let's take a look at one of my not so much favorite scenarios, but I'm in the cutoff sometimes. I open a nice range of hands, and then someone in the button decides to three bet me. Uh, very annoying, and a lot of the time I really have no idea what I should do. I want to play the hand out of spite, call it, and play it from there, but uh, that's probably not the best way to proceed and definitely not game theory optimal so what we do here now um, we use our GTA charts to work out what we should do so you're in the cutoff you raise first in and you get three bet by the button so let's click on here and let's see what the chart suggests that you should do in this situation again note the color coding uh, this is where it starts to get nice and colorful I'll move that up a little bit and let's have a look at uh, so yeah the solver su suggests let's have a look at the fold first um, basically saying fold all these hands jack seven suited ten seven suited jack eight suited queen ten etc etc uh, recommending th three betting uh, 
which here it says open a race. So race with three betting aces, kings, queens. Um, as you can see, jacks 75% of the time. So let's say we're in a scenario where we just open jacks in the cutoff. We've got three bet by the button. What does this chart slash solver recommend we should do? Let's roll the random number generator. It says 75% three bet, 25% just call. So in this instance, it's under 75%, so we will throw in a three bet. Some other things to take note of are uh, uh, also have uh, some strategies here for um, when you're squeezed and also some suggested uh, approaches to uh, when to squeeze yourself, what sort of range you should be trying to uh, squeeze with, again, to try and keep a GTO strategy. So in this example, we are... Um, middle position, we raise first in and we have been squeezed by the button, which means uh, someone ahead of us has also has flattered. We've opened, they've cold called and the button decides to squeeze. Um, suggested strategy here is to fold a whole bunch of hands in blue to three bet the orange ones and to shove all in a certain percentage of the time with ace king off king queen and pocket jacks another great feature of the charts if you've noticed already is the highlighting of, of the options so you always know where you are don't get confused this chart here is for middle position when squeezed by the button Go to the big blind and, for example, this is um, suggested strategy when under the gun opens. Under the gun four bets, suggested strategy, MP opens, MP four bets, cut up opens, button opens. So as you can see, huge array of, of situations covered. I think we've got about, I don't want to say 100%, but I think 95% of pre-flop situations covered. Uh, as I said before, uh, squeezing, this is suggested if you are in the big blind and you want to squeeze an under the gun open and a button flat, this is a suggested squeeze. Uh, squeeze, cut off button. This is a suggested squeezing range um, or calling. So suggested to call with these hands, suggested to flat with the green hands. Okay, so I think that covers most of what I wanted to talk about today. This is our six max charts, GTO charts, developed using Monka Solver and Pio Solver. And not expensive at all. Let's have a look at the pricing of this. At the moment, it is $9.95 a month. So all it's going to cost you to have a look at these, see if you like them, is $9.95. Uh, you could also sign up for a year for $59. So if you sign up for a month and decide you don't like the charts, obviously, you don't pay any more. If you decide you love them and you want to go to this plan, uh, drop me a, an email. Just do a contact us from up here and we'll do some sort of a deal. I'll take the, that $9.95 off this price. Um, I don't think we're going to stay at this price forever. Um, we're going to start adding some charts. Um, we're all, almost um, have added, well, we, we're at the moment adding Nash heads up charts which I will show you in another video. Uh, and that's going to be included in the price. So if you get in early, if I can also guarantee that if you get the $9.95 a month straight up and we keep adding charts, uh, I'm not going to put the price up on you. Price might go up for other people that haven't joined if we have a multitude of, of GTO charts in here. But if you're an initial buyer, 
get in on the ground. You'll pay fifty nine a year forever or nine ninety five a month forever. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions? Uh, hit the contact us button. Fill out a form, and we'll get back to you. Whenever I'm awake, I'll be answering questions. All right, hope you enjoyed it, and talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.